Hello and welcome to Grace Hope Church, Facebook Five. Five minutes to get our eyes fixed on Jesus. Today we're talking about no fear. Do you remember the clothing line, No Fear, in the 90s? Basically, the premise was that if you wore this clothing, you were seen as pretty tough. Well, today, we need a reason to not be afraid, and it needs to be more than just clothing. Luckily, Scripture tells us 136 times to not fear. We're going to go over some of those today. The first verse that I really like is Deuteronomy 3.22. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. 2 Kings 1.15. The angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Go down with him. Do not be afraid of him. So Elijah got up and went down with him to the king. 2 Chronicles 20.17. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out and face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Nehemiah 4.14 After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your families, your sons, and your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Psalm 23, verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 27, 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, verse 3, Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. You see, fear is the opposite of faith. Faith trusts that God knows best and believes that his word will not return void. Faith believes that God is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Are you seeking him diligently? But are you cutting out all the noise? Spending time at his feet and in his presence. Fear says that we're on our own. Fear tries to make us make quick decisions. Fear is a liar. The father of lies go-to tactic is fear because it cuts God out of the equation. Let me ask us today, are we quick to cut God out of our decisions that we're making? Are we praying about decisions, both big and small? Or are we just going ahead in our own strength and worldly wisdom? Perfect love casts out fear. 1 John 4.18 tells us that. And I love what it says in Psalm 91, verse 5 through 10. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. You see, perfect love trusts that God is sovereign. He's still in control. Our times are in His hands. If it's our time to go, then it's our time to go. But if it's not our time to go to heaven, guess what? There's still work on this earth for us to do. If we fear God, we will do great exploits. Daniel 11.32b says prophetically, But the people that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. In the message, it says it like this, But those who stay courageously loyal to their God will take a strong stand. But we have to know God. I wonder, do you know God, or do you just know about Him? There's a difference. Psalm 57, 1. Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster is past. Proverbs 3, 25 and 26, Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for helping us to let you be our confidence in these times. I thank you, God, that you will keep us from deception. You will keep our feet from being snared. I pray over everyone watching this video that you would let your peace that passes all understanding rest, and let your blessing flow. In Jesus' name, amen.